Hey everybody, welcome to Build Fly Go. So a couple people have asked me to do a quick tour of the workshop, show, uh, I guess, <laughs> around the room, show where things are, what's what. And uh, so here we are, just a quick couple of minutes of pointing out where I keep things. This is maybe a month old at this point. Um, so um, I promise you it's more organized now and cleaner than it was then. How would you know? <laughs> but anyway, enjoy. Quick tour of the workshop. Um, big garage door, <laughs> front door of the house. You might notice that just outside the garage door is a tree. This isn't actually a garage. This is just a workshop. Uh, we've got uh, some skins on the other side over here. I'll pull some of these things apart. The old wing stands for the RV9 um, are still here, and uh, I might be able to. I'll probably modify them to be wing stands for the for the tent as well. Um, I might move these wings when they're done right away to the hangar to get them out of the way because they're pretty damn big. Uh, I've got all my rivets and bolts and stuff over here. I've been meaning to reorganize this, so this might be something that I'll work on in the next couple of days. I've got a couple more of these little bins, bin setups. Um, some of the tools that are somewhat specialized, you may have seen us uh, using the pneumatic uh, Pro Seal or Tank Sealant Squeezer, uh, those are right here. And behind here are the skins that are done and the skins that are not doable, right? So we've got the sort of left wing upwards inside um, and the rear ones you can see over here. And these with uh, plastic on them are the skins that are no good. Um, so, of course, we're keeping them. They're pretty good, you know, they're great metal, so they'll make great scrap metal for parts um, for things that I need to redo or re retest or whatever. Uh, sort of the messy, I'm going to say this is the messy area, this is all the messy area. Uh, sort of the messy, <laughs> um, deburring, drilling, cutting uh, area over here. Um, if you look up, you can see the camera that has our view of the, the work area, the, the one that we've been using lately. Um, People ask, what kinds of tools do you use the most? Uh, the bench grinder with a scotch Brite wheel on it um, gets used every single day out here uh, to deburr things or just to shake them. Um, and probably the bandsaw. This is just a cheap woodworking bandsaw. It runs way too fast for metalworking, but uh, I'm usually you know cutting small things, right? Like angle and, and whatnot. So uh, things get a little hot. And you use a lot of uh, sort of either tap magic or other lubricating cutting fluid um, to keep them cool. And you go through blades a lot, but otherwise, no big deal. Um, the main toolbox. Um, so we got deburring things at the top, uh, riveting things, drilling things. Odd tools that it takes a one and a half or one and a third airplane builds for you to buy, and as soon as you buy it, you're like, oh man, I wish I had this all along. Um, <laughs> a lot of times uh, the plans will say, draw a line along this 10 foot piece, a quarter of an inch from the edge. And I've always done things like measure and run a ruler and just like follow the ruler. They make this tool, which I always thought was horrendously overpriced. I think this is $20 for this little 3D printed thing. And it takes something that would take me an hour to do, and I do it in 10 minutes for like all these parts. So, just buy it right away. Um, other than that, nothing too special, just regular, you know, regular airplane tools. Um, this here is a mixture of parts to be worked on versus parts that are already done. Um, you can see all of the prime stuff is usually stuff that's done and it's just waiting for um, for its time to come, if you will, right? So uh, these are flap, these are for the right flap, they're the hinges for the right flap, and they're drilled and primed, but I'm missing the uh, right flap spar, so I couldn't finish the, which is also coming with the, the fuselage kit. Um, and a couple, you know, odds and ends, right? So these, I believe, are flap ribs. Um, which it didn't make a ton of sense for me to prime them because they weren't drilled yet and it would just be a ton of work. I could, you know, and I should deburr these. So you guys get to watch a you know, boring video of me deburring things. Sort of the more messy area. I go through a lot of Scotch Brite pads. 
Um, so I buy them by the box. Um, my guess is I'll go through two or three of these boxes um, through the build of Scotch Right pads. You can buy them individually or buy the four pack, but if you're going to be building an airplane, just buy a box and get it over with. It's much cheaper. You can buy them on eBay um, or Amazon or whatever, right? Like it's uh, they're cheap. I go through a lot of Sensolve as well, so um, I've got a couple of these uh, quarts, I believe, um, and I also buy gallon jugs. It's just solvent, just for cleaning parts. I don't use acetone, I use Sensolve. It's a mixture of naphtha, a couple of other things, so that it doesn't flash quite so quickly. Um, acetone will flash really quickly, and then you're, the, the, the stuff that you tried to pull up is just stays on there. This stuff takes a little longer to, to flash. Um, uh, gloves are getting tough to get nowadays. Uh, but yeah, nothing too exciting over here. It's compre compressor, um, the tail cone, which is done. And uh, just sort of to the side and out of the way for now. Um, there's the left flap that's done over here, the left aileron that's done over here, and a couple of sort of odds and ends for the wings. Uh, these are the stiffeners that go inside, um, inside the wings on both the top and bottom. It's one of the big push rods over there. I think this is the elevator push rod that's on the side. And then you can see on the sides of the, on the walls hanging up are the uh, sort of tail control surfaces and the vertical stabilizer. And uh, yeah, and then on this side, a couple of more spare parts. There's really not a lot left. I really need to go through this and get rid of stuff. There's a lot of um, remains from the last airplane build that for whatever reason I held on to that I should just get rid of. Um, using up some space, that would be useful. Um, yeah, another tank over there. Um, a couple of skins for things that we're not, haven't gotten to. And the trash sort of spare aluminum crate over there for things that uh, didn't go as planned and I decided to just replace the, the skins or the angle or whatnot. Um, this is one of the big things about building airplanes is you shouldn't be shy about you damage the skin and oh no, I have to fix this, you know, whatever, right? Like these, the parts, these are not certified airplane parts, so they're fairly inexpensive, right? I mean, I, I want to say some of these long pieces are 20 bucks or something like that. So if you're even remotely concerned about them um, being unsafe or having structural issues or you just don't like that it's going to be, you know, there's going to be an imperfection or whatever, get rid of it. Use it as scrap. Um, you, will, you will use a lot of it up. And uh, just order any one. You'll be ordering stuff from vans all the time, so there'll be plenty of opportunities for that. Um, and here are the plans for the nine. Uh, it would also be nice for me to roll these up maybe and put them away. Uh, they use up a lot of space. Um, I suspect that we're going to be really uh, tight on space once the fuselage uh, starts coming together here. I'm currently working off of one uh, tool bench or one workbench. On the nine, I had two, and I've missed having two. Um, I've got the space for it right now. I really miss having um, two so that I can work on things consecutively, but uh, it's it's been okay. <laughs> we, we might continue with just the one and see how it goes. But yeah, so this is this is it. This is the sort of the workspace we have. Thanks for watching. We'll try and keep the content going uh, over the next month. I'll have some fun flights, hopefully, if the weather cooperates. It's pretty windy today. But yeah, we'll talk soon. Please subscribe.